Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing service for building, deploying, and managing applications and services through a global network of Microsoft data centers. The Azure portal provides a single unified console for interacting with all these cloud applications. The Spotfire Data Connector for Microsoft SQL Server now supports use with Azure SQL. Let's take a look at how we can use Spotfire to analyze data from your Azure SQL database. Before starting, we will have had to configure both the SQL Server and SQL Database as shown in the dashboard. From the Azure portal, we need to do two things. First, we will go to the Azure SQL Server properties and get the server name. The second thing is to navigate to the firewall settings and make sure to allow access to Azure services and that the IP address of the Spotfire server is allowed through the firewall. After doing so, we can open Spotfire. We use the Microsoft SQL Server connector under Add Data Connection like we would if we were connecting to a Microsoft SQL database. But here, we enter the Azure SQL database connection information, including the server name and user login information for a user with admin access. Here we can decide which data table we would like to work with, and when we are ready, click OK. Now we are presented with the option to import the data table or to work in database by keeping it external. In this case, I will keep it external and click OK. Now the data table is ready for analysis in Spotfire. By expanding the data panel and looking at the source view, we can see the database connection details, as well as edit the database connection or reload the data. You can connect to your Azure SQL database today by going to spotfire.tibco.com. If you have any questions, head over to the Spotfire community where you'll find thousands of people who are working together to solve real analytics problems. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.